Hello everyone, my name is Vijisha Venkatram, founder of VJ Academy. My organization VJ Academy promotes science, arts and innovation within the Wyndham community. Today we have a very special guest on the show, but before that let me introduce you to my co-host for today and that's Anisha Anand who will be taking over the second part of the session. Hello everyone, my name is Anisha Anand and I am a student as well as the Chief Campaign Ambassador of VJ Academy and I am an avid space enthusiast. Well, who is our guest for today? Uh, well, before introducing them, let's have a look at this video. Dr. Srimati is the founder of Space Kids India, a leading science and technology incubator who is helping children reach out to the stars, quite literally. Launched in 2011, Space Kids India has launched 12 balloon satellites, two suborbital satellites and two orbital satellites. Yes, I'm honored and excited to welcome Dr. Srimati and the Space Kids team with us from India today. Welcome, Dr. Srimati, and, and your wonderful team. Hey, Vijay. Hi. How are you? 
I'm good. Thank you. How are you guys doing there? How are you guys doing there? Rocking. Hi everyone. Um, would you like to introduce um, your, you like to team, your for the team for the Australian audience? Yes, Rafat, please take the lead. Uh, hi guys, this is Rifat Sharuk. I'm the Chief Technology Officer and Lead Scientist of Space Kids India. Hi, this is Keetan, Software Engineer at Space Kids India. Hello everyone, this is Egnya, Chief Operating Officer at Space Kids India. Hi everybody, this is Dr. Srimati Kesin, Founder CEO of Space Kids India. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, I can't wait well, to start, the, wait Q &A to start the Q and A session. Well, session. I'm excited well, too. Well, I'm excited too. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you for having us here. Thank you. Thank you. So, Srimati, so, Shri our first question for you is: Can you please share the journey of the Space Kids with us? Ah, it's a it's a long journey. It's a long journey. Um, I should say started off uh, in the year 2010. It's almost a decade now. Uh, but well, that was uh, very small. In 2010, I think I started off at home as an educational tourism company and uh, was given the ambassador status to NASA European Space Center and the Russian Space Center for their space camps. And uh, that was pretty exciting for over a period. Then I thought we should do something more interesting and exciting. So frequent traveling to NASA and touching the space shuttles and uh, you know launching these water rockets. I know they, they are just babies, but water rockets. I was really excited thinking that probably we should build our own satellite and launch rockets. And uh, not an uh, engineer, I'm not an engineer basically, so I was wondering how am I gonna do this? Then I thought probably we should pull in a team, uh, team together, and that team will start working uh, towards you know building satellites and rockets. Uh, that's how uh, I I had this uh, measure in which um, you know I first handpicked Rifat Sharu. Uh, he was uh, a tiny baby then. He was from eighth grade. And uh, he participated in the competition Young Scientist India. And uh, then came in Yagna Sai, and our new uh, monkey was Kirtan. So we have about 10 of them. Today, each one of them, because of COVID, are in their hometowns. And uh, that's why I got only three of them here today talking to you. And in 2015, we launched our first balloon sat, that is high altitude ballooning. No looking back, we immediately moved on to launch our suborbital satellite uh, in an organization in the United States. And then, uh, of course, the Kalamsat, which made history for being the lightest uh, and the first ever 3D printed satellite, which was only about uh, weighing about 64 grams and was launched by NASA. So that was the speciality. And uh, from there on in 2019, we built, uh, you know, a student sat called Kalamsat V2, which was launched by ISRO. So that was an orbital satellite. And uh, three days ago, we launched our second satellite, a 3U satellite called the Satish Dhawan Sat. And uh, today we are decoding the signals and data that uh, the baby is sending from there. It's happy, healthy, and uh, singing and dancing in space. So this is our journey. We are the only organization in India who've launched about 12 high altitude balloons, two suborbital uh, satellites, and two orbital satellites. So this is the journey that we've walked through. Wow, very proud of you guys. It's great to hear that you've come so far, which is good. So on to the next question, what are the different programs that are offered by Space Kids? Uh, Yagna will be speaking about it. So yeah, our journey started basically as Ma'am was mentioning about the cube satellites and balloon satellites. So we began, the first program what we are offering to students is to give that uh, experiential learning how to build satellites. So one of it is NSLV where we offer the students this program. 
it is an uh, all round program where students can from different streams of engineering backgrounds can come together and work together as a team and learn how the actual space missions are being done we are just simulating it in a smaller way so once you get a hands on experience on nslvs it is the same way how you actually go through the process of building bigger satellites and you know much bigger things like rockets also so that is one program which we are offering for students apart from that for younger kids we have students of uh, ages from 6 years as well where we are doing a lot of different programs for space enthusiasts especially so one is which rocket science for everyone and there are other programs uh, especially to be mentioning this is the first ever commercial astronaut training program all over the world we are doing so uh, it starts from ages uh, age groups of around 10 years uh, until 20 years where they can actually uh, learn how to become an astronaut so that is one amazing program we have with us and apart from that we have a lot of uh, electronics and uh, computer science programs to teach uh, students and you know bring them towards space careers so that is that is those, those are the programs which we are offering as a well. okay that sounds really good thank you it's great um so our third question is can you please share your recent accomplishments and some ongoing projects so we have recently launched the uh, uh, satish dhawan satellite it is a 3u cube sat uh last sunday we launched it on board pslv c51 and uh, we have reached an orbit of 510 km into 515 km sun signal orbit and the satellite is successfully sending all the telemetries the signals have been received all over the world and uh, in fact there's an interesting thing our first signal from this satellite was acquired over australia so thank you to the australian people who have helped us in acquiring the signal thank you so much so now the satellite is healthy and sending all the telemetry and uh, payload data everything we are working on it so in the future in the upcoming days we are planning for another 6u cube sat and uh, we are also working on a sounding rocket i just want to show you this uh, satellite this is the satellite that went up this is the engineering model so for people to have a look at how a satellite looks like and uh, what is the satellite that we sent so this is the model this is an actual satellite in fact Oh, we would love to keep in touch with you guys and see your progress. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, this question is the obvious one here. So it is, why the name Space Kids? Space Kids. Ah, oh, that's an interesting question. Well, uh, I consider space as a very uh, divine place. Space in the sense, the space above us, the space within us. and the space which means platform so uh, you know to create good human beings i think you need all these three spaces you need a space above you need a space a good space within and you need a space where you can exhibit your talents so that is where i thought probably you know to start the organization with the name space would be apt and appropriate and kids uh kids in the sense uh, i feel that uh, you know everybody uh, is a kid within you know it's just the shirt size or the blouse size that you know expands but predominantly all of us are children within so i don't want that quality of childishness to vanish away however old you are so that's the reason it's kids and uh, you know being a little patriotic you know i have india within us so that's why it's space kids india oh great we totally agree with that don't we anisha yeah we do next question is i have heard that your organization is made up of kids and young adults so is that true you can see kids and young adults here yeah our team is completely with kids and young adults you know and uh, i don't want to uh, want them to grow in their uh, you know uh, what i should say their hearts they have to be children always you know their ages might grow the numbers might grow but uh, you know they need to be a child forever if they are willing to be in space kids in there can kids and young adults from australia join your organization most welcome we'll be very very happy to have children from australia too because um, you know uh, what 
my team has put up is a you know a computer a, a small computer i should say and uh, that computer you know they would love to teach across the globe they would love to love children to learn because it's kind of an antique thing uh, you know programming these days uh, children just take off the shelf you know the libraries and everything but uh, they wouldn't understand what is the protocols so that is where you know my team would like to teach them and also building satellites because uh, australian space center you do not have a spaceport as of now for launching satellites or rockets so we have a spaceport here in india and we would love to encourage australian kids and uh, they can come here to india we can teach them how to build satellites and we can launch it through isro the indian space research organization that sounds really good yeah thank really you good. And just um, one question and that just, I would uh, like to ask question. you is, uh, do you have any plans or uh, uh, have you already started collaborating with some Australian space agencies? Uh, no, not as yet. Not as yet. We'd love you guys to speak to some of them and probably, uh, you know, link it up with us. Dr. Srimati and team, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your amazing journey with us. We will look forward to collaborating with you in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.